where we could look for something. That's kind of what seems there. Uh, being a state ranger is sort of adding something. If we needed like a special event yeah. somewhere, uh, because we needed, uh, we needed yeah, the some internet sort of, was yeah. just exploding with Bigfoot talk, yeah. but so little actual hard yeah. data, yeah. you know. And this hey, was uh, something we could do without arguing yeah. over whether Bigfoot is yeah. is an animal yeah. or supernatural or hey, um, you know, a lost let, tribe. Let me share your um, French theory with with Sean. Um, the thing you're uh, telling me about yeah. how uh, the um, the right. film was what one um, yeah, segment left from the uh, attack on the Sasquatch family. I think okay. I oh yeah, like that, that's what who's who who that guy's name? His name is M. K. Davis. Like, oh yeah, I've been there. And you that can bit. find him yeah, on man. Amazon. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I, I like the way the hair fluffs out a little bit too. Circa like like nineteen. You guys want to see Robert's final final version? My death mask. And he he's back. I got new YouTube blend. Yeah, man, you got to share that with me. Oh, beautiful. Uh, oh, it looks that, really that good, is a great. If you want to be Sean's doing this project, this project where not, he's know, looking for that 600 is, faces. He's got um, a lot of, like, uh, over he 200 He knows cat who of the theory that the, um, the Patterson-Gimlin mm -hmm. film was a short segment of a larger attack on a Sasquatch family. Uh, uh, oh, please elaborate on that. I know I'm interested. Uh, well, that is a 20-plus-year-old theory now by a guy named M.K. Davis. And you can find him on Amazon and uh, uh, on his, he has podcasts and YouTube frequency. But, but this theory came out like 99-ish or something. I can't believe how old it is. But he's got a short DVD you can buy. And it's like, it seems really normal right up until the end where he comes up with this. And he calls it, or we call it in the business, the massacre theory. Yeah. His idea is that, that that 60 seconds that we know as the Patterson film was really just some of a segment and the rest of Patty's family or tribe or whatever had been ruthlessly gunned down by John Green and Roger Patterson uh, in the seconds or minutes before that. Yeah, How do they surmise that exactly? Do you, do you it's, know? He, or is it just conjecture? It, it, it's total conjecture. Oh. Well, he it's pointed just, out pool, supposed pools of blood and yeah. shit like that. But yeah, and, the pink know, aging film. <laughs> yeah, I mean... He, and and uh, what, what I would say is, like, who's pushing that? And what are they making from it, right? I think that's probably a standard thing. Just, just to, like, get that on the table and understand... Um, uh, well, it's probably well, thing be uh, uh, somebody's motivation without any proof or anything like that to, just to be able to not not to say it's like that's bullshit or whatever or they're just trying to make money or but well, like I, uh, I part of the part of the whole the picture right <laughs> uh, uh, so what's your story Folks, give me one second here. Back in 2010, yeah. So back in 2010, we first started looking for the film site. They say we are talking about Ian Carlton and Stephen Stufford. Mm -hmm. We first started looking for it. Get all the data. There were five no locations, what, and one of them was like, uh, the whole spectrum, Alpha and site. Omega. Like, I want, According to Stephen Stufford, when you go got, back in time, it was in 2003 when it was time to go. Let's go visit the film site on the Sunday field trip. Uh, everybody who was in the know really that was there that day, they, they got on the, 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 the van, they, they drove down. The, one the van, you could drive all the way down to the place of Peter Burns. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. The firing the bat, the bat boxes? Or? Oh, yeah, well, the yeah. bat boxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, the upper bat box. Davis mm -hmm. was and that's where the uh, firing is. It's far down the Okay. And that's also where the Peter Burns tree is, right across the street. So they showed up there, and they go, where's the film site? And nobody could agree exactly where it was. They are also filming another show at the time. Time. To I forget the name of it, but Matt Moneymaker was there, and um, I can't remember so her name, but they were together in the show, and they're walking up and down. Perez was there, uh, Expert the, really the Rush guy was of, there, uh, and uh, a few more people whatever. in the picture. Well, right. uh, really uh, Gimlin was there, but it okay. take much, and they're going up and down, and they had uh, difficulty finding the location. Well, kind of social media rumor has it that a gentleman had gone downstream and saw a location that thought it was more appropriate. So, I mean, our discernment so has that was to relayed like to uh, M.K. Davis, mm -hmm. who uh, uh, pursued uh, that well, as being the potential film site. Maybe it needs to be more all of his visits were down to that section, and he took a Japanese crew there a few years ago. 
and he walks by our cameras. Yeah. We had I guess that's the question. To, What's the process? At the I'm Rocky just going like, to We had it attached to one of the, 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 the rocks sticking out. Of what I think and he's looking in it, so we know he's there. Or am I just going to like... Put it on a shelf over there. And he's also doing some walking that's across. My thing. Like, and they're speaking Japanese, true. so who knows what like, they're, to they're, the, they're, they're almost doing. Almost to the point where, like... But we, um, we also took a film crew down within a couple years, and we took them to just, upstream just to where the, the film site like, is. I don't want to be fooled. I don't want to be And our, our, our guys were all chain you know, smokers. Uh, you can imagine a <laughs> chain smoker and high all that stuff down there. And one of them spoke English, all the rest of them spoke Japanese. And we Stephen eventually got a copy of... What was when going on? Wow. So we don't speak really Japanese. Right. Steal that black and white filter really Ooh. works well. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> all right. I'm all Last chance. Over MK. You want to be in it? So, <laughs> so he didn't speak Japanese or anything. Uh, but actually, I when we're listening to it, sure they're talking MK and they're laughing for. and we're, we're talking English. And of course, it's Japanese. Oh, it's someone. Speaking Japanese. MK Ultra. We're like, what are they laughing at? So we had no idea whether they're talking about us. But I'm pretty sure the same thing happened to MK when he went down there. Huh. Um, but, what, what but he had it in his idea what, what that that was the film site, and, and he talked about it. Or, so one of the first uh, film sites I personally searched really was the MK area. There, there's, there's, there's orange the flagging on the, on the gravel yeah. bar uh, well, section. You follow the orange flagging, no and you find stumps, but they're not the stumps that are on the film site. They don't match the Dehendon overview. They don't even match the uh, <laughs> know, two shot. Ago, and that's also the, overgrown the, the not as bad as the, 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 no, I'm fascinated. the cliff you know, site that was farther up, the farthest one upstream. We were in uh, so in order to figure out what's so on it I is you have to basically, we took our, our GPS unit and we went back and forth, uh, up and down, and side uh, to side. You know, and every artifact that was of interest, every route we found, so we found trees there. The background awesome. trees were not in a direct yeah, northern yeah, position, where if you follow it, directly the, north, the as in the regular Patterson film, in the yeah, we, you need so all, much space to shoot that. that. And you gotta have the big tree in the background. So you have to take the biggest tree on that site, and you have to run a north south line, and then you in order to make it work. But as you know, with that yeah, big tree in the background, there's some maple next to it. There's later, the uh, middle tree, and then there's the uh, and, spiky uh, snag, and then there's the ladder tree, and there's the lower hardy trees. And there's also a leaning story, fir so tree in the background when you look at the Hendon's overview shot. Also on the far left, when you look at the Hendon's 1971 overview, there's a grove called the Four Amigos. There's a grove of four trees. When you figured that out. And one of those oh, was the snag well, that we know I, today because we, we look at it. And their other three were still uh, alive. For several years. So but those are supposed to be there too. So have, and there's all the these stumps that are supposed to be and, there. Uh, and that whole area is a flat floodplain. And you get to the back of it, so rare, it starts going up a slight slope. It's about six foot tall. Amazon and then it levels off again. And then it heads towards the gorge, basically what they call the bowling alley. I was we know that to be true like because we found it and we confirmed John everything. So going back to the Peter Burns, I mean the MK Davis site, on Amazon, that orange flag I mentioned before, you follow it out and you start seeing some stumps and everything from, else. You know, but that whole like site's Steven, on a multi-layer you know, step incline towards the back. So I started collecting which means that in 64 a level was put of silt and, and sand you know, sort of filling in and when the river starts chewing it away it starts dropping these clear. layers down as it, as and it meanders back and forth it'll chew up a little this way mm -hmm. chew the left chew the right so you get these terraces uh, and well, one section in the back of that area looks like an old road <laughs> on the back side well the road wasn't on the back side of the film site we'll it was on the, the right side going upstream well, uh, mm -hmm. what, and so that doesn't work books, but, that but that whole area uh, if you look at the earlier footage of the Patterson Roger film it has trip, I can't remember if it's Roger or Bob I think it was most likely it's uh, Bob I mean Roger on horseback pulling a second horse area. and they're going up and down this area in this fall colors that's the location that's that's being taken place so it's up in the by corner, the and, uh, also there's a slide hill side that they were up here six the slide. Prior to so that the, um, is in the film film. footage, right. and it, you uh, can see it. Well, the, but it's it's overgrown, the, it's the been eroded away. But going back to the artifacts, 
There are stumps there, but they're not in positions they're supposed to be. And they're on multiple layers of tiers. They have to be all in this flat surface area. They have to be certain sizes. They have to be certain distances from the big trees in the background. But that newspaper the snags article on the main film site service. farther north, the, the cliff but site, which is the PG film site, those, those uh, all their the, the dead snags are no longer there. Out in that flat and neither are they at the other site as well, the, the MK site. Davis site down there. And there's a pile um, of debris. There's piles of debris at, at the MK Davis site. The the gulch you talk about, not the gulch, but the the Hinden's X, where it kind of did an S pattern. There's Go a place where the camp, water kind of curves around and hits the side of the hill point. and the, the deposits and, um, driftwood so debris. It, you know the, you know the, so you could uh, say that all the things they want to look for are, are there, it, but yes, they aren't I the place. So, These aren't the drones you're looking for, your you know. Right. That's okay. not the place Walk because it doesn't the match the Hinden 71. It doesn't match the 352. It's very interesting. And the reason why we're talking about this, I'm talking to the camera now, um, is because I was mentioning that I seen that MK Davis had recently posted just the uh, other day, I think, day before yesterday, about the film site not being uh, where it is, where we know it to be now. Um, it, it, and so we have Robert Leiterman hands, here like, uh, hanging out and uh, giving us his version of the story. So, yeah, because, you know, yeah thank you. And then Robert has a book out, you guys, if you guys are interested in all this. Uh, it's You want to okay, talk about the book? Yes. And, and I haven't been showing you on camera, but if you want to be on camera and talk about your book. Yeah. It, it's fine. Cool. It's the Bluff Creek Project, and we wrote it about a couple years ago. And that was from our research. Most of them are just That's from a couple of years of heavy heavy duty research. But if you talk about before those two years of heavy duty research, where where uh, Ian uh, right over here next to us and uh, Stephen Swifford and myself eventually became Rowdy Kelly and uh, Jamie Wayne joined our team too, and we picked up other people as we went. But a lot of time went into the research because you have two years of infield research, two seasons. But prior to that, Stephen had a blog, and he was doing a lot of research, a lot of interviews, and he was building the case to where it was. And that's how, I, when I showed up to join the team in uh, 2010, I showed up at uh, Bigfoot Books with my video camera rolling because I was doing, I was actually going to record them researching it. And I was going to video document the whole process. But then I became player number three because I, I, I found it pretty intriguing. So I got involved with that. But when Steven sat me down and he went down his computer screen like a PowerPoint presentation, I did not realize how controversial it was as to where the sites were. And all that information as evidence that led to what we were looking for in the sites. So... It went where, who cares where the film site is to, let's go find it. And that was a great journey. Wow. And I am 100% certain we know where it is because it's been rediscovered. Cliff, who's right, has been there and agreed. Bubbo, who was eventually right, been there and declared. Bob Gimlin, who, who uh, thought it looked familiar when he looked at the Hinden's X, he's concurred. Okay, there's three of the players that have, have decided that, yeah, that place has all the evidence. <laughs> you can, most people that uh, we've taken there and we showed the stuff to them and we have the, the, the maps, we have the uh, pictures, we, we show them and they say, yeah, you guys have nailed it. Now, people sitting at home are looking at pictures. It's not the same as standing right there. <laughs> we walk you in, you walk over to the big tree, you stand there and you look you look at the 352 and you go, big tree, big tree. The big maple, the big maple. You got the, uh, the middle tree. There's the middle tree. You have the, uh, uh, the pool cube. That's what uh, Bill Munns calls it. We call it spicy snack. It's mm -hmm. right there. You have the uh, ladder tree, the lower branches. It's right there. So you could stand there and you can match the background team and you can move away and you can match all those stumps in the shot. Standing right there. Any reasonable person and and that looks at the evidence so and walks over to that <laughs> site and stands there and looks at it Daniel in front of them, been there with him at will agree. Over the <laughs> MK, as far but as we know, has not even gone over to Daniel's that place. He always has his place that he feels it is. It's downstream. 
we had the five Navigating sites because everybody world, felt so that was the film site. We Emotions. We feel this way. is right Turned because we, north, we believe these things so are this. Well, you need facts. You need to take the evidence and compare it. You can't just assume that nature's washed it away and then it's no longer here. If that were the case, we would have no evidence. But the PG film site is the farthest north. It's the one that Cliff Felder was, the Bobo and the road went all the way down to Bob that area by the that's the site and, then, and beyond reasonable doubt you know, everyone who is anyone and when you go to the there, MK Davis site down the street you know, it doesn't have the elements that's required according mm -hmm. to the eyewitness you can't <laughs> say <laughs> this is the debris pile when you can't match any of the debris pile up you can't say this is the big tree it must have been cut down if there is no stump for it you, you got to have like these evidence, and just like uh, the yeah, positions exactly. of yeah, the trees, the according to the, the root you know, which we call evidence, work. according to the stumps that are still there, uh, which we call evidence. Again, so yeah, we always invited, really and mostly not me, but Stephen, when we we're doing uh, correspondence, getting information for the research, like is Davis. Stephen invited uh, Kim Davis to go up to the PG site, which is the farthest one out. You know where that where the bowling alley is and the contours. He has not anybody accepted that offer. He goes in. He just says uh, that's not it. It's over here, GPS. and he has Maybe his reasons for it. We've had other people. Can do like, I don't know their names, the but they are also from uh, the southeast. Right. You know, who take Google science, Earth shots right? and yeah, they take a, the data. they take the Hinden 71 overview and they take a Google Earth and they superimpose them and they say this is the film site. Yeah. And that's uh, that's called magic. So it's not called research. I, I think and you, know, you can't just do that. You have to actually go bit. there and look and at the uh, evidence. You can't just yeah, take just a Google Earth like, and a Descendant 71 and move it around until you get it right on there. The because um, Bob Titmus map here, doesn't accurately reflect the actual contours. <laughs> More people are uh, coming out John Henry's day. map does. Maybe he's got the distances wrong, but he's got the shape down. He has the bowling alley. You know, he has I, the curve, I, he has the, the Hinda's X, which is the, a serpentine uh, of the, the creek. Again, it's the, there. The first and it's amazing because Bob Titmus did a nice job with the research you know, and the tracking no and stuff. But when he spot. did his map but or his, his sketch, it's kind of deceiving a little bit because the bowling alley, the straightaway, isn't quite written down or drawn so in, in as a, words, as a almost 90 degree turn it's hit. just slight yeah, curve if you're which looks like a slight curve of just a, a, a bending part that was so, a little yeah. deceiving so you can take that and drop it wherever you want even on in kim davis's place uh, normal to have but it's not years, very savings? accurate for that more, well, but well, anyhow yeah. right if you go on so the internet uh, we've offered this before many many people he can come show us his site and we can yeah. have to show him almost every time not our site but the actual pg site and I see, that's I about it. it's, really we can discuss it. Show us your evidence. We'll show you ours. We can bring in outside parties, just yes, the judges it, and juries, I, I and that let that them decide. We should yeah. adopt that that'd, be, that'd be cool, man. Yeah, I mean, everybody makes mistakes from time to time, but in this case, we are 100% sure this is the film site. And we have lots of people who agree with us based on the evidence. And um, I me, haven't seen I'm, I'm M.K. Davis's uh, evidence like proving that like his really site really is the actual film site. Um, and I'd love to see I'm that. All, I, I'm super skeptical. Yeah. And an outside party, a neutral your, person, uh, look at the evidence and make that decision. The fact that, he is entitled um, to believe what he wants. Right. I, I, I mean, if he wants to believe it, it's true. Like, but if you're going to accuse people of being incorrect, then you've got to have facts to back it up. That's fair, right? Yeah. Very fair. Well, th thank you for sharing, Robert, and uh, we'll see. We'll, we're going to be hanging out here for about, about a week, so yeah, we're just getting started. We just got here, and uh, this is night night one for us here. Stay tuned.